Morning everyone, it's been two months since a new program aimed at better serving veterans has been implemented in the Cass County Jail. On this Veterans Day, Valley News Team's Bailey Hurley tells us how a Marine turned county deputy made it his mission to ensure those who served aren't left behind, even when they're at their lowest. Before September, when a new inmate came into the Cass County Jail, there was no way to know if that person was a veteran or not unless they told jail staff, which authorities say doesn't always happen. We're a stubborn group of people veterans are, and maybe there's maybe a little bit of stigma that you don't want people to know that you're a veteran coming into jail. And that lack of self-reporting meant veterans weren't getting connected to the many services they're eligible for. And that didn't sit right with Sergeant Peterson, who served in the Marine Corps for four years. At one point in these guys' lives, they signed a, a check to the country with their life being the ultimate price. And just because they're in jail now, that doesn't mean that they they shouldn't be able to get those services or get back on track. Peterson says with the new Veterans Re-Entry Search Service Program, jail staff submit the county's inmate roster to the VA to find out who on the roster is a veteran. Peterson says about 5% of the jail's population has served in the military. I think that we kind of owe it to them, at least put the ball in their court and help them out to get these services going. And if they want to pursue forward with it, it's, it's on them at that point. Cass County Sheriff Jesse Johnner says helping with housing, employment, and health care is important in putting a stop to the revolving door that jails and prisons have become. As the connection said, both the community and the inmate up for success once released. When they leave here, you know, have them hopefully not return. If we can give them the tools, um, the services that they need so that when they get on the outside, they can follow through and be productive in society, that's really the ultimate goal. Bailey Hurley, Family News Live. Peterson says as the program continues, he hopes to see a decrease in the amount of vets in jail, adding the reaction from veteran inmates has been positive with many utilizing services they wouldn't otherwise have known they could.